we're back here again. So what is up guys? This is the follow-up review to the RVCA Ruka Zach Noel backpack that I've been longing to make, but was too busy, but now I have the time. Let's get into it. So here are some points to discuss. The durability, usability, and its worth itness. So let's get on to the first point. First point! What the f so, as far as durability, how is the outer shell holding up? So the outer shell has been holding up. There are like rashes, cuts. Uh, this is because I just throw like, the backpack on the ground sometimes. I really don't care. I mean, who would be babying their backpack like? Oh, my cute little backpack. Here you go. Yeah, so I don't do that. Um, there are some parts of the shell. Shell. It is a polyester. I don't even know if this is polyester. I don't know. On the shell that are gashed. But overall, there are no holes. Everything seems to hold up. The zippers, they all work fine. The zippers are all still smooth. The Velcro on the top part, so this part, it is still sticky. It hasn't lost its adhesiveness. I don't know if you can term Velcro adhesiveness as adhesive so yeah as far as durability wise it is still good it's still holding up after a year of traveling with it and using it every day for gym durability wise and next up is usability is it only for camera enthusiasts no now, the beauty of this backpack is that it's very versatile I mainly bought this camera for that me bought this camera so I mainly bought this backpack for its camera compartment but other than traveling with my camera it's been serving a different purpose. Usually, I just use this to go to the gym and use this compartment as a dirty, sweaty clothes compartment or I put my shoes in this. Is it only for camera enthusiasts? No, that's the beauty of this backpack because it is very versatile. Can you use it for school? Yes and no. Yes, because you can keep your laptop in it. I think the maximum size, the laptop compartment, can carry is 17? 17? I have my planner. I don't have plans with life, but I just keep this. Shout out to my girlfriend, by the way, for giving me this Starbucks planner. And I also have my work stuff and a, what is this? Yellow pack. My 13 inch laptop does fit in here perfectly. If it was a 17 inch or the new 16 inch, if anybody wants to sponsor me 16 inch, go ahead, send me that. Just kidding. So if it was a 16 inch or a 17 inch, or anything below 18, I think it would still fit in this. Next, is it cumbersome to travel with? I'd say no, because of the fact that the back part is heavily bolstered. Bolstered? That's like probably one of my favorite words in the first review. Carrying this around, I did use this on a hiking trip when I went back home in Philippines. It wasn't really that cumbersome. Cumbersome. Benedict Cumbersome. <laughs> no matter how heavy the bag got, it did have the chest strap and the waist strap, so it kind of evened out the weight of this backpack. Now, my only concern would be straps in itself are just, what is this called? Lycra? Lycra? This material, I would have liked to seen it more padded, especially in the waist area because my waist was suffering from this belt buckle being on top of my waist. But overall, still good. It doesn't actually tire you when you're traveling and whatnot. Is this backpack? So, is this backpack worth it? So, in my opinion, if you're a traveling filmmaker or photographer, yes, because of the flexibility or versatility that this backpack offers. So, not only can you carry your camera gear on one compartment, you can also carry your other stuff and your laptop all in one. But if you are using a bigger camera than me, I'm using a mirrorless camera, if you are using one of those Canon, the big full frame cameras, then I think you might run into some issues there. I haven't tried that. I don't have a Canon frame, Canon, or I don't have a full frame camera. If you are running on a light setup, if you're running an APS-C camera, crop sensor camera, then you won't run into any issues with that. Now the camera compartment only has room for, I think three lens, three lenses? Wait. The camera compartment does only have three slots I guess but it is kind of customizable I haven't customized this thing there are three slots to the camera compartment so 
Now that my camera gear has been expanding, I have four lens, three lens, not including the kit lens. Here's the Sony 18 to 105. Fits perfectly in there. I'm wondering if a really huge full frame camera could fit into this. What do you guys think? Right here. Technically, you can move these around. They are Velcro as well. So you can have that playability. Playability. You can have that option to move these sections apart. As far as having a camera compartment, it's very. And if you are into fitness or an athlete in general, and you're not into those duffel sling bags that you keep around your shoulder, this is a great backpack to do to use or bring to the gym every day. I know I use this every day to go to the gym and it serves its purpose well. So I keep my dirty clothes and extra basketball shoes in one compartment here. And my clean clothes, work clothes, or any clothes, or anything. I know I keep my hand straps in here for some reason in this other compartment. So as far as being a gym bag, yes, you can use it for the gym. As for school, I'm pretty sure this would be an awesome backpack. I know if I was still in college, I would still be using this backpack to this day. All those commuters out there, I forgot to mention this on the first review. It does have a raincoat. It has its own raincoat. So if you are commuting each and every day to go to class, then it's a perfect backpack to not get your school stuff wet. You also have its outer shell, which is water resistant. I know I took this out and it was pouring like heck. And it kept all my stuff dry. My laptop was in there, so there was no worries on that. So is it worth it? That's the million dollar question everybody wants to know. Is it worth it? Yes, it is worth it. In my opinion, if you have the $100, Yes, it is a good investment as far as a everyday backpack, just because of how versatile it is. It doesn't matter what you do, filmmaking, photography, fitness, or going to school, it's so versatile that it makes the price, well, worth it. It's still holding up. It's still my go-to backpack. This has been with me everywhere, across the continent, traveling. If you have the $100, I don't know if it's $100 anymore, I've checked on Amazon, it's like more than $100 now. So hopefully it is still available when you see this video. I'd say overall, this is a great backpack to own just because of the versatility. So that's my review on the Ruka Zacknell backpack. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, comment, and subscribe to your boy. And I'll see you on the next one. Ruka, please. Please sponsor me.